Is it on? Yep. I'm pimping. Look, I'm pimping. <laughs> Don't go in the way now. The Alaskan villages are a perfect place to go cross-country skiing and I felt that if we could get the kids skis and get them set up with ski equipment, there's no reason they can't ski every day of the winter. And when Lars said, I'll teach your kids how to ski, I couldn't say no to that offer. Eighteen coaches. Olympians, World Cup athletes, university coaches, and high school athletes joined us in the Nana region. You feel that? If you want to slow down, you have to push your tails out more. They gave us 140 hours of world-class coaching. You're doing great. Right on. The value of bringing world-class athletes, Olympians, to meet our kids was the opportunity for them to learn what it takes to have a goal, what it takes to be successful at it, to, to organize your time and to have the discipline every day to get something that's really hard accomplished. Holy mole! Cross-country skiing is a great way to get outside and enjoy a healthy activity. Keeping people active is what it takes to prevent diabetes. And so we approached Bruce Warwick of the Manilik Diabetes Program, and it turned out that he did have some funding available which he directed towards the purchase of the skis. And so through Manilik, we were able to bring in 70 packages of skis. It was actually the linchpin. It's the thing that made it possible for us to do this program the first year. We taught 650 kids to ski. In between, we skied from Kotzebue to Kiana, from Kiana to Norvik, from Norvik to Selowik, 132 miles of Arctic wilderness skiing. Here Got some frosted tips. Frosty. Going for the, you know, in sync look. The Clint McCool look. Yeah. Is this the way to anchor it? Let's go traveling. Let's go traveling. Let's go traveling. This year we spent time in four villages. 650 kids on skis. Next year, our goal is to do 11 villages and 1,500 kids on skis. And the plan will be to transport 25 coaches up to the far north, distribute them between villages along with packages of skis, and of course the gear that they need for the time that they're up there as well as food. There'll be both jet transportation out of Anchorage to go to Kotzebue and then smaller aircraft into the villages. So we need all the help we can get. Let's go traveling, let's go traveling, let's go traveling.